Hey guys, and happy Halloween! As you can see, my doll is not very Halloween-y, it's a My Little Pony princess. On the other hand, you can definitely be a princess or a unicorn, not this is a unicorn, it's just a pony, uh, for Halloween, so live your best life. Um, but I am going to come out with, come out with, <laughs> I'm showing a little tiny witch's hat if you want to get into the Halloween spirit vicariously through your dolls. Uh, I think it would be really cute with a little pumpkin dress, but let's get into this one, the princess. So weirdly enough, I started off with the hair. I just wanted to test out using boiling water to curl. Um, so inside, it might look like it's just one strand, but basically I split it up so it kind of splits occasionally itself so it's two it's one main and then it goes into two and each of those two goes into two or I think technically one goes into three one goes into two so it's kind of spreading itself out and this is terribly shot so sorry for that the lights just too far away but other than that we start off with a clean slate so enjoy the acetone And after two coats of sealant, I get started on the face up. It was a bit more restrictive because of how deep and like sharp the moulding of the eyes were, but I think I kind of went with it. I didn't want that kind of open eye look, I wanted her to kind of be looking down eyelashes over, and I think slowly I kind of developed that a little bit. But it's kind of a bit more restrictive. I think next time I do My Little Pony I'm gonna add some more like bodily features like wings, I mean other stuff like that because it's not the most interesting to watch this one because it's just eyes, eyes and then the kind of beauty mark, beauty mark? Cutie mark, sorry for my head. Uh, oh that's a view of my scalp but just getting into it I tried to use I used quite a lot of water with my watercolors so unlike my first well, my second and third repaint where I wet the pencils 
I kind of put the pencil down and then wet that when it's already on the doll and I think had a very nice effect. So I can say that you should try that out. So onto layer two, we've got the idea down basically, but we're just sharpening it, adding some more details. I think I'm going to add a little eyelash just flicking out, but also getting the colours that you really want. Oh, there's the eyelash. <laughs> zoom we get to see the eye so i tried to make kind of shade and a bit of petal separation through doing the outside and the inside slightly differently and you probably shouldn't use your pencil onto a wet surface but 
next layer. We will sort it out. <laughs> That's the good thing about layers, is that you can't really fudge it up that bad to begin with. I have now been indoctrinated into acrylic paint. It just works far better, it's far more opaque. Um, I did water it down, don't worry. But it's a much easier thing to do. I probably should have done it on a slightly later layer um, because I kind of just have to work around these white blobs. But it, it kind of makes the difference. I, you can't really see what the, doll, the doll's going to look like before then because it's always going to be slightly creepy because there's like no life in their eyes but it just adds a sense of I was going to say realism just a sense of livelihood livelihood of life and vitality <laughs> I'll leave you to the next two layers, just making everything opaic, clean looking, cut <laughs> for the gods, and enjoying the background music. But I realised that every doll repaint artist that I like was having in the background, not that I really paid attention to it, so enjoy the process with some sound.
So yay, the face up's done. Look, look at the beauty shot. And her weird head turban will be revealed. So just getting the already curled hair out of the saran wrap. And the weird tunnel I made of the head hair, I did not expect what happened. I just kind of put it in like that to get it out of the way. But as you will see, it had some unexpected consequences. Gosh, it's like unwrapping the weirdest present. And look, a curl. A completely accidental curl. I understand that it was curled around each other, so I guess conceptually I understand why it curled. But I mean, I guess I, I'll tell you that you can just wrap your doll's hair up and just kind of leave it for two weeks. <laughs> Uh, or however long it takes you to do your doll repaint and you'll have this kind of nice big loose curl which was very surprising it's really voluminous compared to the boil wash one look at that look at that oh. <laughs> And the finishing touch to this repaint is these gems. I was just looking around in the craft supplies and I don't usually go for gems. I'm not really that fond of like sparkly and all that, but it was there and I was just like, it's got one on its butt. So let's put one on it, its head. It'll be like a tiara, it'll be cute. And I think it was, it was quite fitting. And it took me a while to take it off and then glue it on. I had to use uh, quite a strong glue in the end. And now we're into glamour shots. It took me about an hour and a half to make this backdrop of glitter tape, uh, accidental Carvella <laughs> advertisement, don't know what that is. It's just a nice box I have. And I think she really has the essence of a princess. She is cute, but regal. And I gave her some like anti-freckles on her feet using acetone to kind of make a negative of a freckle on her hooves. It's something I've actually seen on real horses. It can be really cute when they've got blodgy little hooves. It's like a kitten's little mittens. So I hope you enjoyed. Give me some feedback and happy Halloween. Oh, and thank you.
come again. Yeah, they've got little black sharp horns, haven't they? The males. Yes. These are our smallest because we don't have dick dicks around. Okay. I can see yeah, it from here. She's coming now. She's coming to the right. She's coming. She'll see her in a moment. There you go.